It's my new donor. Mamba zuko langu jipya. Shilo 2018. Shilo 2018. Dominion. Tawala. Let's lift up our hands and appreciate God for tonight. Tuinue mikono yetu tumshukuru Mungu kwa jioni leo. Baba katika jina la Yesu. We bless your name O Lord. Tunakushukuru tunalibariki jina lako Bwana. Thank you Father for bringing us into your house O Lord. Asante kwa kutuleta katika nyumba yako. Feed us O Lord. Kutushibisha. Build us up by your word. Kutujenga kwa neno lako. In Jesus precious name. Katika jina la thamani la Yesu. In the name of Jesus Christ we are praying. Katika jina la thamani la Yesu. Before we take our seats. Kabla hatujaketi. We are going to pray one simple prayer. Tutakwenda kuomba ombi moja rais. We are going to say Lord. Tutakwenda kusema Bwana. Give me something to show for this service tonight. Nipe kitu cha kuonyesha kutoka katika ibada hii jioni leo. Nipe kitu cha kuonyesha kutoka katika ibada hii jioni leo. Inua sauti yako na uombe. Baba jioni leo. Nipatie kitu cha kuonyesha kutoka katika ibada hii. Baba nipatie kitu cha kuonyesha kutoka katika ibada hii. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus precious name. Katika jina la thamani la Yesu. Tumeomba. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu. Lord I thank you. As your people receive your word tonight, let signs and wonders be the order of the day for every one of them in the name of Jesus. Visit us tonight, O Lord. Visit us tonight by your word, O Lord. And turn every of our challenges into a testimony. In the name of Jesus. As God's servant always says, tonight, let your voice be heard and not mine. In the name of Jesus. And let Jesus Christ be glorified. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. This is your service. Take charge and take control. In Jesus' precious name. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. And please, you may take your seats. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate God and his servant for granting me this opportunity to share the word tonight. And I'm sure you'll be blessed. You will be blessed in the name of Jesus. I would like to take this opportunity to thank God's servant to thank God and his servant for giving me this opportunity. I believe the grace upon God's servant also find practical manifestation I say minister tonight. Let me start by saying the theme of this month is God works wonders through praise. And uh, our scriptural text is taken from the book of Isaiah 67 from verse 5 to 7. And our teaching series in all our Wednesdays is experiencing the wonders of praise. Experiencing the wonders of praise. Now, let me begin. In this world we live in it's a world of warfare. We have physical warfare. And we have spiritual warfare. In both warfares, there are weapons of warfare. There are weapons of warfare. In the physical warfare, you find weapons like guns, Unaona silaha kama bunduki tanks tanks mizinga bombs mabomu even biological weapons hata zile silaha za kikemikali but in the spiritual warfare lakini katika ulimwengu wa mwili au vita vya weapons like the anointing oil tuna silaha kama mafuta yako vazi la kinabii feet washing oshwa miguu the blood of jesus damu ya yesu etc etc vinginevyo na vinginevyo and if you look at these weapons na ukizitazama vizuri hizi silaha hizi you discover that these are mysteries utagundua hizi ni siri weapons involved in the spiritual warfare are mysteries siri ambazo zinahusishwa katika ulimwengu wa ni siri they can never be explained haziwezi kuelezeka so 
spiritual warfare is fought in the realm of the spirit. Kwa hiyo hivi vita vya kiroho vinapatikana katika ulimwengu wa roho. If you refer to the scriptures kama uki tazama maandiko Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 will tell you that. Wa Efeso 6:12 itakueleza vizuri. So whether you like it or not. Kwa umependa au hujapenda. You are involved in this war. Unahusika katika hiyo vita. Whether you know it or not. Iwe unajua ama hujui. You are involved in this war. Unahusika katika hiyo vita. Whether you are prepared or not prepared. Haijalishi umejiandaa au hujajiandaa. You are still involved in this war. Bado unahusika katika hiyo vita. However, Yapokuwa. We should understand that lazima tufahamu ya kwamba praise sifa is one of the most neglected weapons of warfare. Ni moja ya silaha zilizopuuzwa za vita. Praise sifa is one of the most neglected weapons of warfare. Ni moja ya silaha zilizopuuzwa za vita. So very 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 effective. Yapokuwa ina ufanisi mkubwa. Very very effective. Ina ufanisi mkubwa. Now what is praise? Sasa tuangalie sifa nini? Because we are talking about praise, 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 praise. Jioni leo we are going to add one more definition. Tutakwenda kuongeza maana nyingine. Hallelujah. We are going to add one more definition. Tutakwenda kuongeza maana nyingine. Praise is confirmations. Sifa ni uthibitisho. Declarations, matamshi, psalms, sauti, hymns, tenzi and, and spiritual songs na nyimbo za kiroho of the glory, grace, za utukufu and greatness of nema, God na ukuu wa Mungu that we make unto God ambao tunatengenezea au tunamfanyia Mungu. Last week if you can remember clearly. Wiki iliyopita kama unakumbuka vizuri. God servant sang a song. Tumishi wa Mungu aliimba wimbo. This is a wonderful song. Ulikuwa wimbo mzuri. Only four lines. Ukiwa na mistari minne. Concerning the glory of God. Kuhusiana na utukufu wa Mungu. I'll sing this song but I'll sing the lyrics not the melody. Nitaimba yale ya maneno yaliyoko katika huu. But not the melody. Hallelujah. Na sio ile sauti. He says oh glory all glory must be unto the Lord. Anasema utukufu wote umwende Mungu. For he is worthy of our praise. Kwa kuwa anastahili sifa zetu. That no man on earth should give glory unto himself. Kwamba hakuna mtu duniani ajitukuze mwenyewe. And all glory be unto the Lord. Na utukufu wote uwe kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore we should understand from kwa, scriptures. Kwa lazima tufahamu kutoka katika maandiko. From this lyrics I've read. Kutoka katika haya maneno ambayo nimeyasema. That our God is a jealous God. Kwamba Mungu wetu ni Mungu aliyejawivu. He's a very jealous God. Mungu aliyejawivu. You see the element of jealousy in this song. Utaona e, vi, viashiria vya wivu kutoka katika God wivu. says my glory will I not share with anybody. Mungu anasema utukufu wangu sitashirikishana na mtu yoyote. I shared this story with some of my Bible school students. Nilishirikisha huu shuhuda au habari na wanafunzi wangu wa shule. There was a man here in Dar es Salaam so many years ago, so many many years ago. Kulikuwa na mtu hapa Dar es Salaam ya Kanisani aliyopita alikuwa na kanisa. Good, he was doing fine. Alikuwa akifanya vizuri. Along the line na katika muendelezo huo he to tell the members of the choir and the congregation akawaambia wale wana kwaya na kusanyiko lote that when you sing praises and you sing hymns kwamba mkiimba tenzi na mkiimba nyimbo put my name there weka jina langu put my name his name put my name there weka jina lake hapo Hallelujah. so Hallelujah. in that church they were singing praises and hymns mentioning his name kwa katika hilo kanisa lao kiwa kiimba nyimbo na tenzi ukiweka jina lake. That means he was taking the glory of God. Na maanisha alikuwa anauchukua utukufu. Along the line he started to make lots of mistakes. Kwa kuendelea hapo akaendelea kufanya makosa mengi. At the end he made very serious mistakes and he was implicated and in prison for 20 years. Na mwisho wa siku akafanya kosa kubwa na akafungwa kwa miaka 20. And unfortunately he died before he could finish the sentence. Na badala yake akafa kabla ya kumaliza kifungo chake. So when you give God that shall not be your portion in the name of Hiyo Jesus. Fungu lako jina that shall Jesus. not be your portion in Hiyo the name of Jesus. Fungu lako jina so when you give God what he wants. Kwa kimpa Mungu anachokustahili. In this case praise. Na hii tunamaanisha sifa. He will give you what you want. Atakupa kile unachokihitaji. It's the same with the human being. Ni kama tuko mwanadamu. The same with the natural man. 
ni kama kwa mtu wa kawaida ukimpa kile anachokitaka atakupa kile unachokitaka na tunaona katika matayo 14:11 Anasema ukizungumzia habari ya Herode. The Bible talks about the birthday of Herod. Biblia inazungumzia ile siku kuu ya kuzaliwa Herod. So birthdays did not start today. Kwa hizi selezi kuzaliwa zianza leo. The time of Jesus they are mentioning the birthday. Hata katika kipindi cha Yesu wanataja hizo siku ya kuzaliwa. Herod has had a birthday. Kwa Herod alikuwa na sherehe ya siku ya kuzaliwa. And that day there was great jubilation and the celebration. Na kulikuwa na sherehe. People were singing praises unto the the king na watu walikuwa kimuimbia sifa mfano and there, there was a, a daughter of herod na, she danced so well na kulikuwa na binti wa herod ambaye alicheza vizuri sana and the herod says for this dancing whatever you ask me i'll give you na herod akasema kwa kucheza huku chochote toka tunaomba nitakupatia even half of my kingdom i'll give you hata nusu ya ufalme wangu nitakupa now herod had married the wife of his brother sasa herod alikuwa ameoa mke wa kaka yake and uh, John the Baptist was criticizing him. Na Yohana Mbatizaji alikuwa akimpinga katika hilo. So John Baptist was, given, was put in prison. Kwa hiyo Yohana Mbatizaji akatupwa gerezani. At the directions of her mother, the daughter said I want the head of John the Baptist. Kufuata maelekezo ya mama yake yule binti akasema mimi nakihitaji kichwa cha Yohana Mbatizaji. So the king could not deny himself. Na mfalme kwa kuwa ameahidi hakukataa. So that's how John the Baptist was beheaded. Hivyo ndivyo Yohana Mbatizaji alivukata kichwa. I'm trying kichwa. to illustrate that what you give when we give a man what he wants he will give you what you want. Nataka kueleza tu kwamba ukimpa mtu anachokihitaji so atakupa unachokihitaji. What does praise do? Kwa praise zinafanya nini? When we nini? praise what does praise do? Ukisifu sifa zinafanya nini? Number one. Kitu cha kwanza. Praise empowers us in two realms of signs and wonders. Sifa zinatuwezesha kuingia katika ulimwengu wa ishara na ajabu. Praise empowers us in two realms of signs and wonders. Sifa zinatuwezesha sisi kuingia katika ulimwengu wa ishara na ajabu. So remember that praise is a spiritual weapon Kukumbuka we, sifa we use to provoke the presence of God. Ni siraha za kiroho ambazo tunachochea so, uwepo wa Mungu. So, Signs and wonders kwa ishara na ajabu are provoked through praise. Zinachochewa kupitia sifa. So we praise God for who he is. Kwa tunamsifu Mungu kwa namna alivyo and also we praise God for what he is capable to do. Na tunamsifu Mungu kwa kile ambacho anaweza kufanya. We should understand also lazima tufahamu pia that every living thing kwamba kila kiumbe haya ukinachoishi is natural habitat. Ni makazi yake ya kiasili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the natural habitat of fish or marine life kwa makazi ya kiasili ya samaki is in the water ni katika maji and the natural habitat of any seed na makazi ya kiasili ya mbegu yoyote haleluya haleluya it's in the in the ground ni katika udongo therefore kwa hiyo the natural habitat of malaria parasites makazi ya kiasili ya vidudu vya malaria inside the body of a human being ni ndani ya mwili wa mwanadamu likewise the bible makes us to understand that the natural habitat of god is in the presence of his people hivyo hivyo biblia nafanya tuelewe kwamba makazi ya kiasili ya mungu ni katika watu wake ndani ya watu wake zaburi 22:3 zaburi 22:3 says but thou art thy, thou art holy O oh, thou that inhabits the presence of Israel. Anasema wewe mtakatifu uketie katika sifa za Israel. Remember by redemption you and me are spiritual Israelites. Kumbuka kwa kukombolewa mimi na wewe ni wana Israeli wa kiroho. So whenever God inhabits the presence of his people. Kwa Mungu akiketi katika sifa za watu wake. Signs and wonders are unleashed. They are released. Ishara na maajabu vinaachiliwa. This is a mystery because when these signs and wonders are released. Hii ni siri kwa sababu ishara na maajabu zikiachiliwa. God takes over your battles. Mungu anachukua vita vyako. I see God taking over your battle. Nona Mungu akichukua vita vyako. I see God taking over your battle. Nona Mungu akichukua vita vyako. Exodus 15 verse 11 says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Kutoka kwa Mungu moja. Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Emu e Bwana katika miungu ni nani aliye kama wewe? Ni nani aliye kama wewe? Mtukufu katika utakatifu mwenye kuogopwa katika sifa zako mfanya maajabu. So we can confidently say kwa tunaweza kusema kiujasiri ya kwamba kwa Mungu ndio kuogopa na anafanya maajabu katika When we praise tunapomsifu he silences our enemies ananyamazisha adui zetu especially when we engage in wild praise hasa tunapohusisha katika sifa zisizo za kawaida as you praise tonight unapomsifu mungu jioni leo god will silence your enemies in the mungu name of jesus mungu atanyamazisha adui zako god will silence your enemies in the name mungu of mungu atanyamazisha adui zako katika jina la yesu we have a biblical example of paul and silas tuna mfano wa kibiblia wa paulo na silas acts 16 from verse 25 to 27 matendo 16:25 mpaka 27 they were imprisoned 
walikuwa gerezani they, were, they prayed in prison nothing happened waliomba gerezani na hakuna kilichotokea but when they changed gear lakini walipobadilisha mwenendo they changed gear wakabadilisha mwenendo and started to praise na wakaanza kusifu wild praise sifa kuu we know what happens Tuna, tunajua kilichotokea prison gates were opened malango ya gereza yakavunjika and these people were set free and there was a change of story na watu wakatoka huru kukawa na mabadiliko ya habari zao i see a change of story for you tonight naona badiliko la habari kwako katika jioni la yesu i see a change of story for you tonight naona badiliko la habari kwako jioni leo katika jioni la yesu god can do when we render praises unto him hiki ndicho mungu anaweza kufanya tunapompa yeye sifa but it takes the spirit of humility lakini inahitaji roho ya unyenyekevu. Oh meekness to praise God. Au roho ya unyenyekevu kumsifu Mungu. And the opposite of that, kinyume cha hivyo, is pride. Ni kiburi. The Bible says pride comes before a fall. Biblia inasema kiburi kupelekea kuanguka. What is pride? Pride is simply overestimation of self. Kiburi ni nini? Kiburi kiraisi ni kujitukuza mwenyewe. And you should also remember that a proud man has no future in this kingdom. Nakumbuka kwamba mtu mwenye kiburi hana hatima iliyo bora katika ufalme. It's so difficult for a proud man to, to, to praise God. Ni ngumu sana mtu mwenye kiburi kumsifu Mungu. Even to acknowledge him. Hata kumtambua tu. For his deeds. Kwa matendo yake. God servant last Sunday. Tumisho wa Mungu Jumapili iliyopita. He said to praise God one needs to possess a receiver's mentality. Anasema kumsifu Mungu mtu lazima awe na mtazamo wa kupokea. Not an achiever's mentality. Sio mtazamo wa kufanikiwa. In this kingdom katika ufalme huu there is no attainment hakuna kufanikiwa there is no attainment we just receive hakuna kufanikiwa kwa jitihada zako mwenyewe bila tunapokea we have not attained hatufanikiwi kwa jitihada zetu tunapokea so we have an example of nebukadnezar kwa tuna mfano wa mfalme nebukadnezar is a very good example daniel chapter 4 verse 30 daniel 4:30 this king huyu mfalme was very proud alikuwa ana kiburi anajisifu he thought he had built babylon by his own hands anasema alijenga babiloni kwa mikono yake mwenyewe but the bible zakaria 4:6 says it's not by power or by might but it's by, it's by, by my spirit lakini zakaria 4:6 anasema si kwa nguvu si kwa uweza bali kwa roho even first samuel chapter 2 verse 9 says by strength shall no man prevail ana samuel wa kwanza 2:9 anasema kwa nguvu hakuna atakayeshinda what can praise do number sifa inaweza kufanya nini namba 2 we can praise our way out of fear to power tunaweza kusifu tukitoka katika hofu kuingia katika we can praise our way out of fear to power tunaweza kusifu kutoka katika hofu kuingia katika nguvu when you praise your way out of fear to power unapomsifu mungu kutoka katika hofu kuingia katika nguvu it means only one thing it means only one thing inamaanisha jambo moja power is for reigning nguvu ni kwa ajili ya kutawala power is for reigning nguvu ni kwa ajili ya kutawala revelation chapter 5 verse 10 ufunuo and has made us unto our god kings and priests na and metufanya, we shall reign on the earth na ametufanya sisi kuwa wafalme na kuhani na tutatawala dunia and also power is for conquest lakini pia nguvu ni kwa ajili ya kushinda behold tazama i give you unto you power ninawapeni nguvu to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy nguvu zote za adui and nothing shall by any means hurt you na hakuna chochote kitakachowatu Luka 10:19 Luka 10:19 Luka, Luka 10:19 So we should also remember that Kwa pia lazima tukumbuke God has not given us the spirit of fear Mungu hataitupa roho ya hofu This fear 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 is not from God Hii hofu 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 si kwa Mungu The Bible tells us that God has given us the spirit of power of love and of a sound mind Biblia inasema ametupa roho ya nguvu amani receive the spirit of sound mind tonight pokea hiyo roho ya ubora katika jina la Yesu pokea hiyo roho ya kiasi katika jina la Yesu what can praise do number 3 sifa kafanya nini what can praise do number 3 sifa inaweza kafanya namba 3 we can praise our way out of barrenness tunaweza kusifu tukitoka katika utasa by fear of praise kwa sifa zilizo kuu we can praise our way out of barrenness tunaweza tukasifu tukitoka katika utasa from the beginning kutoka mwanzo God's agenda for mankind was not barrenness Agenda ya Mungu kwa mwanadamu haikuwa mambo ya utasa God's agenda for mankind from the beginning was fruitfulness Agenda ya Mungu toka mwanzo ilikuwa ni kwa uzao Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 says and God blessed them and God said unto them be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth Mwanzo 1:28 Biblia inasema kwamba akawaambia e, muongezeke na kutawala na mkaongezeke mkaijaze nchi na kuitisha mkatawale samaki wa barina ndege wa ngano however the same bible also says japo kwa biblia hiyo hiyo inasema matthew 13:25 matayo 13:25 but while men slept 
his enemy came and he sowed tears among the wheat and went away. Anasema walipolala adui akaja akapanda magugu katika ngano. So if you read the Bible you discover that Adam and Eve were blessed and they were told to be fruitful. Ukisoma Biblia utaelewa Adam na Eva walibarikiwa na akawaambia wawazae na kuongezeka. Adam and Eve in the garden they slept. Lakini Adam na Eva wakalala katika ile bustani. The enemy came. Na adui akaja. And planted the seed of barrenness. Na akapanda mbegu ya utasa. We shall not be barren in the name of Jesus. Hautakuwa tasa katika jina la Yesu. We shall not be barren in the name of Jesus. Hautakuwa tasa katika jina la Yesu. So the more we praise God. Kwa tunavomsifu Mungu zaidi. The more fruitful we are. Ndivyo tunavozidi kuwa na uzao. The more we praise God the more fruitful we are. Unapozidi kumsifu Mungu ndivyo unavozidi kuwa na uzao. Psalm 7 from verse 5 to 7 you can read on your own. You can read on your own time. Psalm 7 utasoma kwa muda wako mwenyewe. Joel chapter 1 from verse 11 to 12. Lakini pia Yoweli 1:11 mpaka 12. As I begin to conclude. Ninapoanza kuhitimisha. As I wind up my message. Ninapohitimisha ujumbe wangu. It's important to know that God wants to solve our problems. Ni muhimu sana kufahamu kwamba Mungu anataka kutatua changamoto zetu. God also wants to fight our battles. Na Mungu pia anataka kupigana vita zetu. us interfering him. Bila sisi kumuingilia we. God wants us to stop from trying doing things on our own. Mungu anataka tuache kuhangaika kufanya mambo kwa jitihada zetu wenyewe. Without wenye. his help. Bila msaada wake. John chapter 15 verse 5. Yohana 15:5 Without me you can do nothing. Anasema pasipo mimi amwezi lolote. Therefore, kwa hiyo, a lifestyle of praise, maisha ya sifa is walking in rest and in abiding presence of God. Ni kutembea katika pumziko na uwepo wa Mungu. The Bible talking about Abraham says, Biblia inamzungumzia Ibrahim ikisema, He staggered not at the promise of God. Yeye hakusita sita katika kutokuamini. But was strong in faith. Lakini alitiwa nguvu katika imani. Giving glory to God. Akimtukuza Mungu. That is Romans chapter 4 verse 20. Hiyo ni Warumi 4:20. Stand to your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. Stand to your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. And I appreciate God for this word. Mshukuru Mungu kwa neno lake. Father in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for your word. Thank you for turning all the glory to you in the name of Jesus. Tunarudisha utukufu wote kwako katika jina la Yesu. Thank you Lord. Asante baba wa mbinguni. Jesus precious name. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. The Bible says. Biblia inasema That is John chapter 1 verse 12 that as many as received him. Yohana 1:12 wongi waliompokea. To them gave he power to become sons of God. Akapa nguvu ya kufanyika watoto wa Mungu. So you cannot praise God effectively. Awezi kumsifu Mungu sawa sawa. When you are an outsider. Ukiwa mtu wa nje. You need to receive Jesus Christ. Unahitaji kumpokea Yesu. As your Lord and your Savior. Kama Bwana na mwokozi wako. You need to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Unahitaji kumpokea Yesu Kristo kama Bwana na mwokozi wako. The greatest miracle you need right now. Mujiza mkubwa unaohitaji sasa. Not for your eyes to be opened. Si macho yako kufunguliwa. No, it's not for the lame to walk. Si mkilema no. atembee. The greatest miracle one needs is to receive Jesus Christ. Jesus mkubwa unaohitaji ni kumpokea Yesu. Because this is the basic and the foundation of all miracles. Kwa sababu ni msingi wa miujiza yote. All the other miracles come after this miracle. Miujiza yote inakuja baada ya miujiza. So if you want to receive Jesus Christ please. Kwa kama uko hapa na kumpokea Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Unaweza kaja mbele. If you were born again and along the way you lost your way and uh, you went astray. Kama you want, uliokoka, you want na... to be reconciled back to Jesus Christ. Ukarudi nyuma na unataka utengeneze maisha yako na Yesu. You also allowed to come here so that we can lead you to Christ. So if there's anybody you want to receive Jesus Christ, you can just raise up your hand. Kwa tafadhali unaweza kainua mkono wako kama unataka kumpokea Yesu Kristo. Tutaomba pamoja hapa. All of us we went through the same process. Sote tumepitia mchakato huo huo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If anyone here want to receive Jesus Christ, please. Kama mtu yoyote hapa anataka kumpokea Yesu Kristo, with this silence I believe we are all children of God. Kwa ukimya huu naamini wote ni wana wa Mungu. Sote tumeokoka. Put your hands together for Jesus. Piga makofi yako kwa Yesu. As we welcome God servant. Na tunapomkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu. Hallelujah. If you are doing it for Jesus, do it better. Hallelujah. Kama ni ya Yesu ongeza zaidi. Better, 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 better. Zaidi 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 zaidi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time lift up your voice for that word. Mara nyingine tena inua mikono yako for that wonderful word. Shukuru Mungu kwa neno hilo zuri. we give you praise. Baba tunakupa sifa. Lord we give you honor. Baba tunakuheshimu. For that wonderful word. Kwa neno hilo zuri. Thank you for the servant you use. Asante kwa mtumishi uliyomtumia. In Jesus might name. Katika jina kula Yesu. Amen. Amen. Be seated for a moment. Tafadhali keti kwa muda. Before 
we partake of communion table kabla atuje shiriki meza hii ya bwana i would like us to prepare ourselves ningependa tujiandae sote for the communion moja kwa ushirika and two for fearful praises na pili kwa sifa zilizo kuu tell your neighbor fearful praises mwambie jirani yako sifa kuu we are going to praise god fearfully here tutakwenda kumsifu mungu kwa namna kuu hapa and god will do fearful wonders here na mungu atatenda maajabu makuu hapa exodus chapter 15 kutoka 15 a scripture that servant of god read here andiko ambalo mtumishi wa mungu amelisoma hapa exodus 15 verse number 11 kutoka 15 11 the bible says who is like unto thee o lord among the gods who is like thee glorious in holiness fearful in praises doing wonders andiko inasema e bwana katika miungu ni nani aliye kama wewe ni nani aliye kama wewe mtukufu katika utakatifu mwenye kuogopwa katika sifa zako mfanya maajabu Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Who is like unto thee O God? Ni nani aliye kama wewe e Bwana? The Bible says glorious in holiness. Biblia inasema mtukufu katika utakatifu. Now if you want to see the glory of God, kama unataka uone utukufu wa Mungu, you must learn how to relate with his holiness. Lazima ujifunze kujiunganisha na utakatifu wake. If you want to see the wonders of God, kama unataka uone maajabu ya Mungu, you must learn how how to praise lazima ujifunze namna ya kumsifu and the praise that provoke the wonderful hand of god kasifu ambazo zinachochea mkono wa ajabu wa mungu must be what we call fearful praises ni sifa tunazoita sifa zilizo kuu au za ajabu who know how to praise god fearfully wale ambao wanajua kumsifu mungu kwa namna kuu never lack a testimony hawakosi shuhuda praise god bwana asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah so somebody tonight kwa hiyo mtu jioni leo set we are going to praise god fearfully jiandae tunakwenda kumsifu mungu kwa namna kuu like david the king david in old testament mfame daudi katika agano la kale one of the things he knew how to do well moja ya vitu ambavyo alijua kuvifanya vizuri how to dig it for jesus ni namna ya kucheza kwa yesu to do it for the lord namna ya kumfanyia bwana till today mpaka leo David is no forgotten. Daudi hajasahaulika. Why? Kwa nini? He knew how to humble himself before the Lord. Alijua namna ya kujinyenyekeza mbele za Bwana. He knew how to despise himself before the Lord. Alijua namna ya kujishusha mbele za Bwana. Because he despised himself before the Lord. Kwa sababu alijishusha mbele za Bwana he received honor before the most high god akapokea heshima mbele ya mungu aliye tonight lay aside every honor jioni leo weka mbali heshima yote just be like a king be like a child before the lord uwe kama mtoto mbele za mungu praise god bwana asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah you know how a child is unajua mtoto yukoje simple raisi the way he is namna alivyo nothing to hide hakuna cha kuficha nothing to be ashamed hakuna cha kuona you know aibu unajua kitu we remain children of god tunabaki watoto wa as mungu. long as we live tunavyo kwa kadri tunavyoishi jesus yes being the son of god akiwa mwana wa mungu being a god akiwa mungu formed came on earth as a god alishuka akawa kama he mungu remain as a son of god alibaki kama mwana wa mungu god. mwana wa mungu even on the cross you're still saying father hata katika msalaba alibaki kusema baba god wants us to come in his presence like children mungu anataka god wants us to come in his presence like children mungu anataka tuende kwenye upo wake kama watoto praise god bwana asifiwe he told us of the story He told us of a story. Atuambia sasa habari. Who danced before the king on his birthday? Yule ambaye amecheza katika mfalme katika siku yake ya uzalendo. A child danced before the king. Mtoto alicheza mbele ya mfalme. Just like a child with Kama simplicity. Akiwa kiraisi kabisa. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. And something happened. Na kitu kikatokea. Tonight something must happen for Jioni you. Jioni leo kitu lazima kitokee kwako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Just in few minutes. Kwa dakika chache. One more scripture. Andiko moja la zaidi. And we shall be set to go. Na tutaenda kwa Mungu. One more scripture. Andiko moja la ziada. Isaiah chapter 61. Isaya 61. Verse number 2. Na ule mstari wa pili verse number 2 mstari wa pili okay let's begin partly from verse number 1 tuanzie na ule mstari wa kwanza the bible says biblia inasema the spirit of the lord god is upon me roho wa bwana mungu i juu yangu verse number 2 mstari wa pili 
to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of the vengeance of our God. May the Lord show up for you tonight and avenge you in any area of your life where somebody has done to you wrongfully may the Lord avenge you avenge may the Lord avenge you somebody say amen to comfort all that mourn if you are mourning in any area of your life, this night as you praise the Lord, God will comfort you in the name of Jesus. Verse number three, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning. Somebody receive beauty for ashes. Kuagiza hao waliao karika sayuni Wapewe taji ya maua badala ya majivu Mafute ya furaha badala ya maumbolezo Beauty for ashes It means It means Wherever you are ashamed Popote ambapo umeaibika God will decorate you Mungu atakupendezesha May God decorate you tonight Mungu akupendezesha jioni ya leo In the name of Jesus Christ The oil of joy for mourning it means whatever has made you mourn God will fill with the oil of joy in the name of Jesus you go home smiling God will give you a reason to smile God will give you a reason to rejoice and the government of praise for the spirit of heaviness you may have come here heavy in the heart but God will decorate you with the garment of praise somebody receive the garment of praise in the name of Jesus Christ rise up on your feet lift up your voice to the Lord Father Baba, clothe me with the garment of praise fill me with the oil of joy lift up your voice comfort me this night comfort me this night Lord I trust in you for your comfort in any area of my life where I have been crying Lord comfort me in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. Receive the garment of praise. Receive the garment of praise. No more sorrow in your life. In the name of Jesus. But how does it come? We are going to take a step of faith. We are going to take an act of faith. By dancing before the Lord. By rolling and jubilating before the Lord. And as you do so. The oil of joy becomes your portion. In this season of praise, your sorrow comes to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No more weeping in your life. God is turning your mourning into dancing. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you exercise that act of faith and done before the Lord, God will be turning every morning from your life and just turning it into dancing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Singing will never cease in your life. In Jesus' name. Stretch forth your hands on this communion table. As we partake of this communion table. Pray that God. Lord. Impart something new in my life. Impart new order of joy in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by this communion table, impart new order of strength in my life. With this communion table, impart upon me divinity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this communion table. As we partake of it this night, let it be that Almighty Father, you impart something new in our lives. Impart upon us the oil of joy. Almighty Father, the oil of joy. Clothe us with the garment of praise. In Jesus' mighty name, communion is blessed. In the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit as you partake of it tonight I decree new order of joy upon your life I decree divinity in your life I decree healing in the name of Jesus Christ I decree delivery in the name of Jesus I decree divine solution in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we have prayed communion is blessed Amen as you take communion come dancing and go back dancing and dancing will never cease in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ praise him give us a danceable soul we want to dance for the next 15 minutes non-stop in Jesus name let's go praise
Seja como era isso Aleluia
done. Imekua. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina kule Yesu. Because you have done before the Lord. Kwa sababu umecheza mbele za Mungu. No more sweating in your life. Hakuna tena kuhangaika maishani mwako. Every sweat of your life time to sweat. Hakila mahangaiko na kila kwa the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Every concern turns into a testimony. Kila shida inakuwa shuhuda. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina kule Yesu. No more heaviness. Hakuna tena uzito. No more heaviness. Hakuna tena uzito. No more pain in your body. Hakuna tena maumivu mwilini mwako. Hakuna sickness in your body. Hakuna tena ugonjwa mwilini mwako. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina kula Yesu. From this night. Kwanzia jone leo. The Lord fight for you. Mwana atakupigania. In Jesus mighty name. Katika jina kula Yesu. You are Jericho must fall. Uwa ukuta riko asima uanguke. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. 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 Put your hands together. Pigia makofi. For the Lord. Beleza buwana. As you get seated. Unabuketi. In God's presence.